creating wealth from within. My name is Fred Dotson, and I'd like to talk about how and why to create wealth, financial abundance, or prosperity from within, from inside yourself. The reason this is important is because as long as you think your job is the source of money, as long as you think other people are the source of money, as long as you think your education is the source of money, you're not going to find wealth. You're not going to find prosperity. And this is 25 years of coaching experience talking to you. Okay? So before you don't find the true source of wealth, you're not going to attract it. You're not going to attract it with uh, search engine optimization. You're not going to attract it with marketing um, or any other of the millions of methods that base or source wealth from external circumstances. Anybody who's interested in getting richer, getting more financially free, needs to source their wealth from its true origin. And what is the true origin of wealth? What do you think? Just think about this for a moment. What is the true origin of wealth? What is the true origin of abundance? I'll tell you something to make the answer easier. You have an abundance of uh, things in the world, an abundance of trees, an abundance of people, an abundance of planets, an abundance of galaxies, an abundance of stars within those galaxies. You have an abundance of information. You live in a very, very abundant universe. And this universe is continually expanding, continually changing. What is the source of that abundance? What is it which created all of those things? That's right. What I'm saying is, as long as you're not connected to the creative source of all things, and you might call that God, or you might call it source, or you might call it energy or consciousness, as long as you're not connected to that in some way, consciously or subconsciously, Many rich people are subconsciously connected to it. They don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it. Uh, you're not going to find true wealth. You're forever going to be dependent on somebody, a specific job or a specific person or customer um, to provide money to you. Even though these are only secondary sources. They're not primary sources. So I'd like you to think about that for a moment. Think about what I just said, because it's quite remarkable. You see, there's this source, and some call it God, some call it universe, some call it within, as I'm doing in this video. I'm saying creating wealth from within, because inside you, you have this spark of the universe. You are a miniature version of the whole. You could say you are a spark of God, and that's why I say creating wealth of from, from inside you, from your own energy and spark. As long as you don't have that and find that, you'll be struggling because you'll think that you need to make money and get money from somewhere and so forth.
Now, this entails being aware of the abundance there is. That means being aware of what you already have, the things you already have access to, the gifts you've already received in life, being aware of that in amazement and gratitude. As long as you stay aware of the rich abundance of the world, the abundance of people, the abundance of love, the abundance of information, you'll stay in a field of abundance and you'll always have enough and somehow things are always going to work out. You'll always have exactly what you need when you need it. On the other hand, we have people who are always aware of scarcity. They live in a consciousness of not enough. They're always complaining about what's not there, complaining about what's missing, instead of being conscious of what's there, of what they've received. They're seeking gratification instead of expressing gratitude. So as long as you make, for example, simple lists of gratitude for what you've already received, or express appreciation toward the things in your life, appreciation of where you are, appreciation of certain aspects of certain people, as long as you keep putting appreciation out into the world, you're going to get abundance back. Regardless of whether there's money on your account right now, regardless of whether you have a job or not, you see, you got to get away from this idea that job equals money. I haven't had a proper job in more than 30 years. And yet I have all the abundance I need. Because having a job is actually making somebody else rich. Okay? Being an employee is working to make your boss rich, to make the company rich. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not talking that down. That's okay. But that's what it essentially is. You see, you don't build your own dream, your own vision. So somebody employs you to build theirs. Another thing this entails, creating, attracting wealth from within, is to be aware of what never changes. Because the source of money has never changed. It's the same source 1,000 years ago. It was the same source 5,000 years ago. It was the same source 10 million years ago and it'll still be the same source in another thousand years. And people throughout time who knew this, who knew the true source of money, they were always well off. They were always rich. I guarantee you, if you get this, you'll be swept away by a wind of abundance within a very short time. You only need to get this once and you'll be forever surrounded by that which is fruitful, creative, and abundant. So, being aware of what never changes. You realize that most of the things in life they change all the time. They come and go. Most things that are created have a beginning and an ending. Everything created has a beginning and an ending. It is only the creator, the infinite, which has no beginning and no ending and never changes.
That's also why it's wise to invest your money in things that are more stable, less changeable. It's not wise to place reliance on things that shift all the time. So investing in a piece of real estate is more stable than investing in volatile stocks, for example. You see, that piece of real estate, it does change, but it takes a very long time to change. Likewise, gold is still the same in a thousand years. Certain types of information will be the same in another thousand years from now. Other types of information, they only apply to the current trends. So becoming aware of what rarely changes or never changes is very intimately connected to your prosperity. Attracting wealth from within also entails relying more on your own intuition, your own sense of what's right and wrong. as well as your own imagination. Creating wealth from within also entails both giving and taking freely. Why? Well, if you assume infinity is abundance, then it doesn't really matter how much you give and how much you take, you can give everything away and trust that it's going to come back. And you can take everything and trust that everybody's going to have enough nonetheless. You see, if you come from an infinite context, the context of a source, then one million dollars is not that much. It's about this tiny. And a billion dollars might be a little bit bigger, but it's still tiny, seen from the perspective of the whole universe. If you keep going and saying, oh my God, one, this guy's a millionaire. He's got so much money. Oh look, he's a millionaire. Oh my God, wow, I, I just received $5,000. If you're in that mentality, it's not going to work with your riches, okay? Because it means you're in a small-minded, a non-think-big mentality. You look up and think $5,000 or a million dollars is a lot, but compared to infinity, it's nothing. You've got to understand that this source that creates all things can manifest a million just like that, if you only believe and trust. If you'd like to learn more about creating wealth within, I recommend my book, Prosperity Consciousness, as well as my audio program, a Wealth Magnetic Workshop, which is available for free to members of my website at www.realitycreation.org. My name is Fred Dotson. Thank you very much.